today. From Highmark Stadium in Orchard Park, New York. It's week 15 of the NFL on EA Sports. see Josh Allen and the Buffalo Bills taking on Dak Prescott and the Dallas Cowboys. Winter is just around the corner as you get a look at Highmark Stadium just south of Buffalo, New York. Today we reach week 15 and we've got a good matchup in store between the Dallas Cowboys and the Buffalo Bills. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. And the opening kickoff will not be returned as that will be a touchback. So here come the Bills on offense for the first time. It's Josh Allen that'll be orchestrating the offense, a 6'5 quarterback from Wyoming. And he's had such a sensational season to this point, leading the NFL in passing yards. He's been helped out a lot by an outstanding set of receivers, and he's quick to give them credit. But I think even they would tell you that he's the guy that makes this offense go. From the 31, Allen throwing the out route incomplete. It's Morris. A six-yard pass on back-to-back -back plays. Picks up the first. Here's Allen. Throw left side complete. That's Morris. It'll go down as a gain of six. And that'll bring up second down. Well, this offense, Charles, well, we've talked about how well they played all season. Sitting now at 13-0 with a finish line for a perfect regular season. That's in sight. Some of the media this week were pointing back to the 07 Patriots. Of course, remember, they finished the regular season unbeaten, but they were tested multiple times in that final month plus. Yeah, it was something like four of the last six wins were one possession games, and they played like a team that was trying to protect something instead of chasing something. And that's what happens when you have an undefeated record. So it behooves you as a team, get a couple blowouts in there so you get a chance to relax and breathe. But that's much easier said than done. And his throw's gonna be incomplete. Play number seven now coming up on the drive. Third and five. To the air, Allen. And this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. Brandon, watching their tape from last week, I saw plenty of plays like we just saw there, forcing incompletions. It was key in their win last week. They're hoping the same thing happens this time out too. The Bills send the punter out. As the first drive of the game stalls out, he's on to punt. And the win last week punted four times as this one's away. First look at the Cowboys offense as Dak Prescott gets ready to guide them. And he's had a great season so far throwing the football. Very likely could go over 4,000 yards with a good performance here. And even in an age of passing first, that is no small accomplishment. So Prescott to the Cowboys now with a first and 10 
at their own 28-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Swinging this out for Pollard. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. A first down throw for Prescott. Now, quick throw there, going to be batted away and incomplete. Second and 10, a very chilly day here, but no snow. And yeah, I got to say, if it's going to be this cold, I want snow. <laughs> you should see Charles' face. He's looking at me like I'm crazy. And they're going to get this up to midfield. <laughs> Prescott now from the 50. Open man lamb. It's complete. And he's got a first down as the tackle made at the Bills 36. 14 yards through the air. Caught the D off guard on third and one. Heck of a start for him here, Charles, on this opening drive, and they're doing it all through the air. That's four snaps and four passes so far. I do think that there's an argument, Brandon, to maybe mix in a running play or two, but the way that these offenses are constructed, you can get that done with swing passes and checkdowns. The way they're throwing it, I'd keep pressing it downfield. Meanwhile, Dax throw taken in by Pascal, and he is out of bounds inside the 30. Play fake. Here's Prescott. He's going to let it go deep for the end zone. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there. Try to take a shot, but it's third down. So many times we see teams go on the road and want to lean on their running game, but this crew just announced they're going to try and air it out and make hay downfield. On third and one, here's Prescott. And he will not be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. How about that? Red man coverage and decided to test them early. But it proved up to the task and forced the incompletion. Now Kaimi Fairbairn for the field goal try. From the right hash, this from 45 yards away. The kick by Fairbairn is good. And the Cowboys are going to jump out to a 3-0 lead. Well, in a close game like this, obviously you want the touchdown, but certainly they will take the three. And they'll be okay with that, but let's throw a little credit to the defense as well. I'm just glad this doesn't come down to a debate, right? Which side won, partner, because the defense, hey, we didn't give up a touchdown. The offense, hey, we put three on the board. Either way you look at it, I think both sides gained something out of that drive. Out come the Bills as we take a look at the playoff race in the AFC. And for them, it's no longer a question of will they make the playoffs. They've clinched the division title. The question, can they hold on to that number one seat? And this is where the mental fortitude comes to play, doesn't it? Because now you're not just the coach talking about it. It's team talking about it to each other, supporting each other, carrying each other along, because having that number one seed means everything in the NFL. It does. So even though the division title's clinched, shouldn't take the foot off the gap. No, not at all. Play it all the way through. And I think we've seen that in recent years in the NFL. The teams that play and play to win each and every game, they're the ones to deal with in the playoffs. Trey Flowers, the former Arkansas Razorback, in there to get him. And every game we talk about what are going to be the keys as we go into it. Maybe that's a key for their defense today. Pressure the quarterback and make sure you play a good zone defense behind them and they get their first sack of the contest. So after the sack, Allen and the Bills with work to do on third and long. Looking to throw, Allen. Isaiah McKenzie hauling it in. And this will not get close to the first down marker as he's brought down at the 26. So five yards here, five on the play. 
And it'll be fourth down. Well, the good thing about covering any game I do with you is I know that there's no problem with rhythm. Now, when we're watching offensively, a little bit of a problem there. Yeah, punt on the first drive, looking at another one here. Just a little slow. And, you know, they, they were talking about a fast start, but that hasn't been the case. Yeah, and let's face it. Any team we cover always talks about a That's fast true. start. That's true. But it's not necessarily going to happen just because they say so. And whether it's the script, whether it's, you know, just what they're going through, whether they're seeing different defenses, they're going to have to figure it out as this game moves on. Now, a nice job on the return there, 16 yards. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. Good starting position for the Cowboys here as they come up first and 10, just shy of midfield at the 49. So the drive's going to start with Pollard. And he stopped immediately there. Tackle made there by Matt Milano. Well, this defense for the Bills, they played really well in the win over the Raiders a week ago. And I'm eager to see the game plan and trying to attack them this week because when you take it away four times through interceptions, what do you do now when you go into a game? Do you decide you can't throw the ball? Do you try and run it more? Or do you tell your quarterback, make sure you see your guys open before you deliver? Prescott's throw pulled in by Lamb. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. Third and short yardage, Prescott. Pass complete to Jalen Tolbert. And doubled that, he got six. Well, this might very well have been four down territory, but that's not gonna matter now. They get a nice throw there on third down, and they're able to keep the drive going. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Off the play fake, Prescott. A good throw here, finding Pascal. And they're going to get this down near the 35-yard line. And again, it's Prescott. Fires a slant complete to Tolbert. And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills' 24-yard line. They run straight ahead here with Pollard. Tackle by A.J. Epinesa. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. On the draw, it's Pollard. And they see right through that defensively as he'll be hit and taken down to the backfield. It's a loss of two, now third down. When a draw works, it can be a thing of beauty. But when it doesn't, oh, it can be ugly. And in this case, loss of yardage ugly. the eighth play of the drive and they need a full 10 yards on third down Prescott to throw it and this pass broken up and the contact well timed there and now fourth down against a team coming off a win just as your team did the previous week you talk about being physical all game long sometimes being physical is just being on the spot and helping force the incompletion now Kaimi Fairbairn for the field goal try. Made his first, this now from 42 yards out. The kick by Fairbairn is good. And that will make it six to nothing. So scores on their first two possessions, but 6-0, so field goals probably not what they were hoping for. Yeah, you're exactly right about that. Not what they were hoping for, but they should be happy that they have points on the board. It almost feels like that old slow and steady wins the race, doesn't it? In this case, though, they want to be slow and steady now, but get explosive later and put the points up on the board. And now out come the Bills. They've had it twice, they've punted twice, not the start they were hoping for. Not at all, and let's face it, every facility we visit, everyone talks about converting on third down, how big that is. In this situation, they've had to punt it away twice. A leap, and he's got it! He got it! And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. That one good 
for 37 yards. And that was a high degree of difficulty on that one, but to me, it goes back to fundamentals and determination. High point the football and declare it yours. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Allen now looks to throw. Looking for his man on the out route, and he's got Diggs. And he gets this down inside the 35 before going out of bounds. On the run, it's Huntley. And he gets stopped up at the 31 after a gain of maybe a yard. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. Now Allen. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked up by Leighton Van Der Esch. And the Cowboys are going to get it back here just past the 35. So the interception there. And Charles, I'd imagine that's something you can maybe live with in December, but not come January. And I love how you make the distinction there. You're talking about regular season versus the postseason, the playoffs. Because these guys, they've already clinched the playoff spot, but they know, looking ahead, when they get into the postseason, they've got to take better care of the football because turnovers at that situation, they really become magnified. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. Following the interception, here's Prescott. He'll fire deep downfield for Lamb. And a high throw there as this is knocked away, down to the ground and incomplete. CeeDee Lamb is intended target, but it's going to be second down. Now a shotgun handoff to Pollard. And down he goes at the 45 after a pickup of nine. I see an extra defensive back on the field. Little surprise here on third and one. Trying to run for it with Pollard. And he gets it down to the 48. Enough for the first. Call it a gain of seven, and it gets him a new set of downs. Just about every coach we talk to says the crowd shouldn't affect us. That shouldn't be an issue. And then the next breath, they talk about taking the crowd and taking them out of the game by picking up first downs and keeping them at bay. I think we just saw an example of that there, didn't we? Important to do, especially early in the game like they have. Prescott on first down. Middle of the field, he finds Pascal. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. And a nice milestone reached on that last throw is here late in the season. He goes over 4,000 yards passing. And he's really thrown the ball well all season long. Had some big games along the way. He's inspired his receiving core to go out and make plays for him in each and every ball game. Meanwhile, Prescott's throw pulled in by Tolbert. And the tackle going to be made at the 38. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. It'll be a handoff to Pollard down at the 35. It'll be second down. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. Coming up on second and seven. Prescott now. Finding Tolbert here over the middle. And he'll be marked down at about the 26-yard line. Prescott looks to throw on first. Over the middle, hauled in by Lamb. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. 6-0 our score after one. On second down, it's Pollard. Call it a gain of a yard, and it's going to bring up third and five. Prescott. And he's going to go down back at 
the 27 yard line. He sacked. Ed Oliver able to record his fifth sack of the season. He was still looking through his progressions and going through his receiver options. And while he was doing that, the defense got to him quickly in the pocket. And it was a great example of zone coverage. Well executed, well coordinated. All the receivers were covered, and he couldn't evade the rush back in the pocket. Now Kaimi Fairbairn for the field goal try. This from 44 yards away. Fairbairn able to put this one through. And that will make this a nine-point lead. So the turnover leads to points as they add three there. Yeah, what a sequence there and a nice one for them. They force the interception, put together a little drive, and then come away with three points. Nothing to it, partner. Just do it. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. As the offense comes out here, Charles, remember they threw the interception last time out, but they were moving the football down the field. Looked like they were going to have a sustained drive that ended in points, but then the pick ensued. And because of that, there's no way you can call the last drive a success. Yes, there are things to build on because they found some play calls at work. Now they've got to build another drive and find a way to avoid the turnover the plague did on the last one. Now that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now it brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. Now they run the option on second down. A gain of eight on the keeper and a first down. Well, he is certainly dangerous when he spots a lane and he keeps it himself there and worked out well. And how about the moving parts on a play like this? You know you have to practice it over and over because it's almost like a ballet that has to be choreographed. But how about once he made the decision to go, he committed to it and went. Let's face it, most teams are going to defend the running back much more than the quarterback on that type of a play. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Working out of the shotgun, here's Allen. And down he goes at the 45 after a pickup of nine. And this offense on third down today, 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. They need just a yard here, it's third and one. He's got the connection over the middle to Diggs. And he's gonna have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys 41 yard line. It's incomplete. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Here's Allen to throw it. The throw on target to his receiver, McKenzie. And he'll be taken down here just shy of the 30. In today's football, where receivers break tackles, make people miss, <laughs> get upfield for the extra yardage, when you see a play like that, where it's caught and he's dropped on the spot, that's a big time play by the defense. Watch the twins. Watch the twins. And they'll try and run the option to pick it up. And he's gonna have the first down yardage as he's down at about the 30 yard line. So that was all you're looking for on a play like that. Get the first down and keep the drive moving. Yeah, it just looked to me like he just said to himself, I've got this, I'll take it, I'll pick it up, and let's keep moving. Get the first down, get a new set, and let's start over. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. To throw, it's Allen. This to Hines on the drop off. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. 
Looking to throw again on second down. Allen. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. I know at times people think we use it too often, but you've got to be able to throw guys open. And when you read zone, you've got to stick it in there before your receiver gets to the next guy in the zone. Otherwise, you bring him into the play. And that's precisely what allowed that defense to disrupt the pass. And that incomplete nearly intercepted. Remember, he had his hands on one earlier, had one pick. Could have been his second, but instead, it's fourth down. So the third drives the charm. They are on the board, albeit with just a field goal. Yeah, three points from three drives. That's not going to win you a whole lot of football games. Hopefully the fact they were able to move the ball a little bit can wake up their offense. Offense back out there. We shine the spotlight on the Memphis man, Tony Pollard. And he's closing in on that number that all running backs circled beginning of the year, the number 1,000. Could do it on this drive. And you have to think to yourself that this moment, getting to this spot, it started in the offseason, right? Not just the workouts, right? Not just getting yourself physically prepared to play, but mentally, as well as your team, as well as your unit, head coach, offensive coordinator. We run the football. We give you opportunities. He's taking advantage of it. And when you get this close to the mark, you just hope things don't tighten up, right? You probably want to get there and get it in your rearview mirror. You really do, don't you? Because now it becomes predominant, and you wonder about play calling as well. Do you want to call plays to get that out of the way, or are you still calling plays to win the game first? That becomes the burden of the play calling. First catch for him on the afternoon, and it results in a first down. <laughs> I got a kick out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. They'll go with Pollard here on first down. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball. But when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. And this is going to be incomplete. Heavy set out there on third and one. Now a give here to Pollard. And he will have the first down as he gets this to the 47. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. That's a tremendous group effort there, because when you talk about offensive lines, the best ones, you talk about guys that play in harmony, in sync, and getting things done, and they did that on that play. Yeah, especially on third and one. Got to be in sync, and they were. First down, and it's Pollard again. And this time, he's going backwards. So after the no gain on the last attempt, here they get him behind the line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Sometimes I think these defensive tackles get a little bit of a bum rap. We just see them as big guys that eat up blockers for others to make tackles. Oftentimes, they're quicker than they get credit for. And this time, he uses quickness to make a play. So after the loss of a yard, they'll look to push forward here on second down and 11. Off for Zeke. And he's going to be taken down just shy of the 35. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Here's Prescott. He finds his target. It's Schultz. And they'll work this down inside the 30. Three yards remain for second down. Here's Pollard. Four yards the pick up, first down. And Brandon, you know that expression? He just does what he does. <laughs> it sounds trite, doesn't it? But in this case, it's perfectly apt. This is one of the better runners in the NFL. And all he does is just find avenues, find ways to pick up key first downs and big runs. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. 
Throwing. Prescott. Over the middle, complete. It's Schultz. And he'll be marked down right at the 20-yard line. This offense has converted two third downs on this drive already. This is third and four. Pass to Tony Pollard out of the backfield. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. It'll be a loss of two on the play. And that'll bring up fourth down. To me, this is a case of if you're not getting the ball, you've got to do your job and block for the guy who is because there really wasn't much there. And boy, the defense took advantage without loss. And the defense, they were just locked in there on third. They had more guys than they could block. The kick by Fairbairn is good. And the lead stretches to nine. It's now 12 to three. So that one on target, and it adds to this first half lead. And maybe we're too early to worry too much about one score lead, two score lead, et cetera. But this is where you kind of start banking those points that come in helpful later on. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. The Bills offense coming out, ready to take over. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just, I, I like the way you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. <laughs> Allen now on first down. And Diggs has it. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. To throw again on second down. Allen, he'll air this one out deep for Davis. This is caught inside the 15. A big play here for Buffalo. 46 yards to another on-target throw, and that last one, Charles, going to put him up over 5,000 yards passing out for the season, and that is not an insignificant number. Indeed, it is not, because this is not a big list, and most of the guys on it, Drew Brees, Peyton Manning, Tom Brady, Dan Marino, they either are or will be Hall of Famers. Now a chance to make that big play really hurt. It's first and goal just outside the five. They'll run it here with Huntley. And a little bit of space there. Takes it inside the five to the three. It'll be a pickup of four, and it brings up second and goal. Allen. And it's caught. Touchdown, Bills. Dawson Knox, his 14th touchdown now of the year. And the Bills have cut it back within a score. You get down near the goal line, this is where having a sure-handed tight end becomes a luxury. And it pays off big time, especially when the defense sells out against the run. He finds himself open for an easy touchdown. Chase McLaughlin on for the extra point. And the lead is down to two. The drive summary that time, five plays. And it ends with a three-yard scoring run. Following the touchdown, here's McLaughlin to kick off. This taken in at the goal line. From a star in college to a star in the NFL, C.D. Lamb at wide receivers, he brings out this offense. You look at the numbers for him, and 1,000 yards, obviously, well within his sights, barring injury. He will get there. The question, will he get there in this game? Well, he would love to. Duh, right? Of course he would. <laughs> but, you know, watching him play this year, we often talk about defenses, you know, allocating extra resources to try and stop a guy of, of his ilk, right? 
But you know what else kicks in? His pride to say, okay, I don't care how many you throw in my direction, I'm still going to find a way to get open. I will use different moves. I will move against formation. I will come underneath routes and try and run through some people and kind of get natural picks in order to work his way open. He wants to get that thousand, and he doesn't want any less passes to come to his direction. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Throwing again on second down. Prescott, and an incomplete pass. That'll stop the clock here with just under a minute to play in half number one. That is the first time that they've targeted him that he has not come down with a catch. He's caught everything that's been thrown his way. A dominant pass receiver that can break down any defense because when he's doing that kind of work, it really hurts you on the back end. And even though it's an incompletion there, I think they're going back to that well. My first thought is surprise because that's one of the better tight ends around and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion. On fourth down, here's Brian Anger now to kick this one away. Back deep, Naheem Hines. This is away, but boy, headed straight for the sidelines. And now where will the side judge stop his walk? That's the question. He says it crossed out of bounds at about the 17-yard line. The Bills going to take over now late in this first half. And with him trailing, there is still enough time to try to string a few plays together, maybe get into field goal range. Throwing on first down is Allen. It's caught by Davis. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 45 seconds to go in the first half. Looking to throw again on second down. Allen, and he'll flip this out to Huntley. And he'll get to the 29-yard line brought down there. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. And here's Allen. And he just gets rid of it, throws it away. The wise move there looked like nobody open. Now second down. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. Allen will try again on second down. He'll get this one complete to Davis. Five yards, now it's third and five. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. This time they stay on the ground. And this will not be enough. On third and five, he only gets three. And they're going to take a timeout defensively. So with fourth down coming up, they go ahead and burn it and say, we'll see what happens. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. A 40-yard punt, no return. And there'll be time for maybe one final play before halftime. So time perhaps for one final kneel down before they take this lead to the locker room. All that remains is to snap this once, and that'll do it for the first half of play. So we have reached halftime here with the visiting Cowboys out on top. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, time for a sprint to the finish as it's time to get you caught up with what's happening around the NFL here in a pivotal Week 15. We'll get started down at Hard Rock Stadium in Miami, and it's the Dolphins who have the lead in that one. Devin Singletary accounting for the lone scoring thus far as he's cashed in with a touchdown run. From there, let's head up to Baltimore to check in on the Ravens at home at m and Bank Stadium. And they've got the lead in their ball game over the visiting Cleveland Browns. Jalen Rager, a touchdown reception. Finally, let's get to Philadelphia. Check on the Eagles at home at Lincoln Financial Field and they were winners as they defeat the visiting New England Patriots. Miles Sanders, 
well over 100 yards on the ground with three touchdown runs. In the game you're watching, you've seen a strong first half out of Dak Prescott. His guys have the lead, as we'll hand it back over to our commentators, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. And we will not have a run back here as the second half starts with a touchback. Out come the Cowboys now as they'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. This offense set to begin the third quarter, and Charles, if they had a checklist of things they wanted to accomplish in the first half, certainly at the top of that list would be having the lead, and they've got that here. That's always the most important box to check, isn't it? But also, they've had some success in their passing game, so probably an empty box establishing the run. They're on pace for fewer than 100 yards in this one, so now they want to make sure that they get that going so they truly have a control in this ball game, and down the stretch, being able to be balanced, either throw it or run it, and try and win this ball game. Looking to throw, Prescott. They'll try and set up the screen, it's complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It's a gain of 12, and the Cowboys pick up the first. They ran that one well, and not only did they pick up a nice chunk of yardage on the screen, they sent a message to the defense. Rush the passer all you want, but you better be careful. We can hit you going back the other direction. A first down carry by Elliott. And a pretty good burst there as he'll get this across midfield and down to the 46. Ten more there and another first down. Not too shabby for his first carry of the game. That's exactly what most teams are looking for. A really good change of pace back. So first and ten now in Buffalo territory at the 46. Here's Prescott. He finds his man complete. That's Schultz. So nothing doing there. And that's going to bring up second down. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches as we just saw him do there because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days. But you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target. And that's how he'll shred a defense. His back has been a dependable safety valve all game, so he went back to him when his first read was covered. Just unable to connect, so the play results in no gain. Here comes the seventh play now of this drive as this is third and ten. To throw is Prescott. They'll drop this underneath to Pollard. And he's going to be stopped here at the 43, and that is not near enough to pick up the first. Three yards, all they could muster there, and it'll bring up fourth down. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. Here's Brian Anger now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. And not what he was hoping for there, as this will hit in the end zone for a touchback. So here's the Bills offense now. They get ready for their first possession of the second half. And their defense did its job by forcing the punt to start things out. And now, Charles, can the offense get in gear? I think, partner, you can sense him saying, OK, the first half was theirs. But now, let's get the momentum back on our side. We forced a punt. Now let's go downfield and score. If we do that, we'll be set up well for this second half. It'll be a gain of 10 to start the drive out by a few inches. That'll be a first down. <laughs> Throwing now is Allen. It's complete to Diggs. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Mike, 
Ahead of the chains now, second and two. Play action, now it's Allen. He's got his target, it's the tight end Knox. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. The Bills passing game, getting them down the field. They've got another first down. Second and short, that's a rundown, so it's definitely a good time to go play action if you're feeling it. And they do so and pick up a first down. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 43. A run with Huntley. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. They go again with Huntley. And this time not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. They'll keep it on the ground. Huntley credited with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. And now they'll throw with Allen. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. They got to get it to the 21 here on third down. Allen going to throw. And he comes back with one complete. And this defense rallies, and they stop him short of the first down right near the 24. Call it a gain of six on the play, and that's going to make it fourth down. Needing the tough yards, they run it with their fullback. And he is going to have the Bills first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. Just a gain of three, but they'll certainly take it as they convert on fourth down. Surprised at all that they went with a fullback there? Not at all, because it harkened back to the days when we watched these games almost in black and white, right? The stocky guy, the strong guy, the powerful guy with leg drive. Give him the football, and even if the blocking isn't perfect, he has the ability to scatter bodies and move people enough to pick up first downs. That's what we just saw right there. Now Huntley. And he's only going to get a yard from the 20 to the 19. A field goal would get him the lead, but that's not what they're shooting for as they come up on third down. To the air, Allen. And that is caught. Touchdown, Buffalo. Isaiah McKenzie from 19 yards away. And the Bills have taken the lead here in this third quarter. So a very strong first drive in the second half, Charles, as they've turned that halftime deficit into a third quarter lead. And they were pretty purposeful there, weren't they? Measured in their approach. But boy, they executed awfully well moving the ball down the field. McLaughlin for the extra point. plays in length, and it culminates in a Bills touchdown. <laughs> Following the touchdown, here's McLaughlin to kick off. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. Dallas offense set for this next drive. The last series for them, a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and 10. 
They'll run with Pollard to begin the drive. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. Now Prescott. He finds his man complete. It's Schultz. The press got to Schultz there for the Cowboy first. Prescott off play action. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Lamb. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. A couple of first downs right in succession, and this is an offense that can really use a good drive, and they're off to a fast start here. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory at the 46. Now it's a bootleg with Prescott. He finds his man complete. That's Ferguson. And they'll wind up getting this to the 37. Gain of nine. And they'll employ the jumbo set now on second and one. They'll run with Pollard. And he gets it down to the 32. Four yards the pick up, first down. Now Prescott. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. So no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. 49, 49, to throw again on second down. Complete. That's Schultz. And he'll be brought down at the 27. This will be the eighth play of the drive here. Third and four. Prescott from the gun. Buying time to his left. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. The Buffalo defense does its job, and it's fourth down. His impatience has to be bubbling over, trying to find a way to get his team to the end zone for the first time. He did find a way to break contain and get outside to buy his receivers a little extra time, but the connection couldn't be made on that throw. The kick by Fairbairn is good. And that will cut the lead down to just two. So yet another field goal to end a drive. That has been a very common theme. He's now hit five of them in this game. Yeah, Brandon, as an offense, you hate that you've had to call on your kicker so often, but you have to love the fact that time and time again, he's come through. Buffalo set to get the football back here. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And partner, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. Yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. And not a whole lot there, maybe a yard to the 27. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. Allen from the gun on third down. He'll find Gabriel Davis. And he is going to have a Bills first down by about three yards or so as they wind up getting seven there on third and four. They kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. From the 34 now, here's first and ten. Now a handoff up the middle. Huntley knifes his way forward here, but just three yards on the play. Second down. 
Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven on the ground. Huntley. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 46 yards rushing on 12 carries for him now. I absolutely love the run right there. This guy's known for his quickness, but also for his speed. And he's able to get to the second level almost before you blink if you give him any type of blocking. Always talk about slot receivers. They're usually known as quicker than fast. In this case, we've got a guy who's quick and fast, and he used it to great advantage. First down, and they're going to throw with Allen. It's Knox, the tight end, making the catch. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. On second down, here's Penny. We're off to the fourth quarter here in week 15. Happy holidays to all. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. First down, Huntley. And this defense not ready for that one as he'll take this down inside the 25. 14 yards, and the Bills will get a new set of downs. I think we're seeing the effect that runs like that are starting to have on this game. They're a little bit slower, that front seven reacting to the football, almost like body blows in boxing. Slowing them down, and they're really starting to take over in this game. Here's Allen on first and 10, finding Knox there, complete. And they're going to get this down to about the 17-yard line here. From the 17, here's second and four. From the gun, it's Allen going right back to Knox and again a completion. And they've got this down to about the 12-yard line. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. So the shotgun snap to Allen. Steps away to his left. And all the way to the two-yard line there before crossing over out of bounds. Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up a first down. Well, there you go. Save your best scramble of the day for a big-time situation in the fourth quarter, picking up the first. You don't want to use it up early, right? Ebon, make sure you save it for that exact moment, that key time. And that's what he did, although you and I both know it wasn't planned that way. But what a nice job using his eyes, scanning the field, and realizing when it was time. And he fights his way into the end zone for a Bills touchdown. A great play there. His 21st touchdown of the season. And the Bills are able to build on to their fourth quarter lead. And just power football there down near the goal line. Give it to him. He's able to push his way across. Yeah, they went heavy there. Sometimes you have those big offensive linemen come in after report like they're eligible. But all they're doing is getting a good stance, blocking, and getting their runner across the goal line. Extra point by McLaughlin is up and good. And that makes this a nine-point game. <laughs> Following the touchdown, here's McLaughlin to kick off. Fielded just outside the goal line. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Here's the Dallas offense now heading back out onto the field. And you figure after giving up that last touchdown, you know, they trail by two scores here in the fourth quarter. This drive becomes very critical. So Prescott and the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. So the drive's going to start with Pollard. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. We'll definitely see some open running lanes, and he's taking advantage of it right now, but that shouldn't be a surprise. Defense has the lead. They're playing for the pass first. A first down throw for...